hello everyone so today we are going to uh, work on this uh, rage bar and making the making the helmet icon glow in red and the character is in full rage mode see now as you can see the helmet is glow in red and when it is happened if I press R, the character goes to the rage mode and do attacks. It is uh, like faster and deals more damage. And also we have this post process effect applied to the screen also. Now the rage bar is depleted. So right. Let's see how to do those things. And also I'm going to work on few issues that we had before so now you can see these icons are perfectly aligned to each other no stretching so we're gonna fix those things too and this episode is sponsored by this generous patrons thank you very much for your support all right so in this episode also i'm going to continue with this new hard uh, design so this is the reference design and this is what i have at the moment and as you can see there is a slight difference in this uh, helmet proportions from this reference image so we will have to fix that and also we will have to fix these uh, icons portion icons because as you can see they are not properly centered so where do we get started uh, let's get started with these portion icons let's go to the place where i imported them all right it's it's in my let me go to the folder in the explorer right let's start with this one let's open that in photoshop all of them should be in the same size to properly work what's the size of this Okay, I'll make it 60 by 60. No, 64 by 64. Okay, because the reason to do it is because uh, it's more comfortable for computers to have the dimensions uh, as powers of 2. Alright, so now I'll save this is this uh, yeah before that let's see is this uh, properly centered yeah okay save this and let's open the other two also well no why don't we import them onto here and make them same size just like this one let me mark the center
let's uh, rasterize this right now hide this one and save this as the potion poison import the other one too rasterize that also Frost. Right now, let's uh, re import this. Can we select all and re import? Yeah. Okay. Now they should have the same size, but yeah, stretched. But we can fix it now. Like this. Oh, sorry. I need to set tankers. Let's try this way. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Are they stretched or is it good enough? I think that looks good enough. Let's see the runtime. <gasps> Let's reference, compare with the reference. Uh, a little bit stretched. Right, so let's set the bottom to seven oh, now it looks all right okay so that is done um, what about the helmet I already have this border Let me hide this and head. See, there is a difference. So let's open this head. Ah, it looks all right here. So I guess the problem is within the widget, it should be, yeah, okay, let's see. Alright, I guess I know the issue. The issue is the shadows. Because of the shadows, uh, it get kind of stretched, uh, contracted horizontally. So, 
as the offset so if I had minus 5 and plus 5 No. Okay, and these proportions look good enough. Right. Yeah, that's okay. I'll leave it like that. All right. Now, uh, when the rage mode activated, what I did previously was activating this red glow. Now, instead of that, I think if I make this helmet uh, have a red glow that would be better so can i just do it with the color change here let's see okay what if i make this oh no Oh, by changing the yeah we can add an animation like this by changing the alpha value okay I'll cancel it for now so let's see how does the rage works Uh, like this right now let's get rid of this glow we are not using that anymore instead of let's use the head and set color yes set brush tint color with a lab like we set the glow value so how do we do it we can add a lab oh we can't add a lab all right we can use the existing mechanism to do the same yes let's change this glow to use the same head icon as logo okay like this and i'll set its location same as this set oh actually we can make it a child of this head is it possible no oh, no it's not possible okay so copy the anchors of head to the anchors of glow and these values also oh no the offset values also to the glow so we can overlap them both
right now I'll set the initial value of this uh, opacity to 0 and the initial rage value also should be 0 Now I'll set this again, the glow to visible. And uh, where is the rage bar? Initial value percent to zero. This is not bright enough. That's okay, I guess. <coughs> All right. Shall we play? Oh, that bug again. We have to restart. Uh, can we just reload the lever? <laughs> right. Oh, we have to hide. The reference image okay <laughs> now let's fill up the rage Still bugs in the bow and arrow and AIs. Okay, now you can see the rage, uh, the helmet is glowing red. So now we are in, we have filled the maximum to the rage bar. So if I press R, this is the rage mode. So you can see he's doing attacks faster. All right. That's it. I think we can stop this episode right here. And you can see this rage bar has been depleted fully. Uh, so as always, the project files will be available for the download through the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.